It's time for another session. Do do do. Diddly do do. You're at Dingy Dial. This must be very hard to. Sorry. I'm just seeing like how her moves differ from. They're the same, really. They're just the same in effect, they're just different animations. So, what have we got first? Dynamite! 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 Oh, I'll just do them in order. They're all bad. They're not bad, but they're just hard. Haven't we got far for a pair of Kazema superheroes? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy. Master of time and the creator of the many time twister machine. Someone had to explain this to me so I was like seven. Booker and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little shroud. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Hey guys, this is like one of the primary antagonists from the game. Entropy, and they put him on the third world for some reason. Like, not like the fourth, and then the cortex be the last one. Oh, yeah, I got double jump now. Double jump, double jump, double jump. So it was a bandy fish. Oh, hit them when they're not spinning. Timing. Uh, but, uh, I was too busy showing off all my spins. He honestly always looks pretty shitty. <laughs> like, so it's very hard to see how they could have made it better. And he did not. He still looks, uh, they still looks like low poly dorky shit as fuck. I keep going to double jump or land on them, but it fucks up my timing when I do that, and then it turns out that it would have been better if I just... Gem pass. They love putting the gem pass in the dinosaur areas, don't they? Oh yeah! No, I, I'm sold. I'm sold. BBT! BBT is here. Literally a Yoshi. <laughs> Literally a Yoshi. Oh my god. When you realize. Because this was the first I put. I played this before I played Mario. Because my life is weird. Why there are swampy men? So yeah, this is literally a prehistoric Yoshi, so straight up just a dinosaur. Fun fact, in the original game he used to stay here, and you could ride him again if you wanted to go backwards, but you couldn't be still pretty well. It's not too bad, we've got the dinosaur, it's, it's good. Fun fact, I started this LP and then soon after it, uh, Nintendo, no, not Nintendo, Sony announced Crash Bandicoot 4. I'm thinking, as a sincere fan of the Crash Bandicoot franchise, why the fuck? <laughs> They've had so many attempts. And it, like, they're retconning it like they're pretending all of those PlayStation games that were really bad. Or, like, very level good anyway. Whatever your opinion. Um. Uh. 
Yeah, they're just pretending those don't exist, apparently. Um, or you had to, like, Betty flop both sides. I did it, everyone. Yeah, so, like, as a fan of the Crash franchise, I'm sitting here like, why the fuck are you making another one? Please stop. Because when you look at the entire PlayStation 2 generation of Crash and Spyro, actually, which do fare much better. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a theme. Whoa. Oh. Please. Don't kill me. I'm too young to die. I'm too bandy too to die. I'm not sure if it's this one. Ugh. No! Oh, I'm on fire. I burnt my ass. Me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Don't make me run. I'm full of chocolate. Oh. Not much time <laughs> to, like, respond to these dangers. <laughs> Oh, balls. Oh, he got it. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh. Oh. No, run away. That was shorter than I remember, but we didn't do the gem half, so yeah. There's a secret section where you get to ride Baby T for 2D bonus stage. I can't remember if it's this one or a later one. Blech. They love sticking the gem pops on those ones. They love them gem pops for the dinosaur levels. I don't like swimming. Uh, yeah, like, we can talk about dodgy PS2 era all day. There was... There was the Wrath of Cortex, that was like a valid one, I'll give you that, but the graphics were terrible. And if you don't think they were terrible, I mean they were okay for... Ugh. No! No, he killed my thing! This guy made this really hard, I didn't see the shark until it was too late. I keep thinking there's a breath meter, but it's got scuba gear on. At least it's not one policy now. I fucked up. Uh, uh, yeah, so like, uh, what was I saying? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh! Tried to spin a bomb. <laughs> I saw him this time. Ooh, and then he got eaten. Don't really get loose. Uh, these things. <laughs> it just it feels like you're drunk because he just lunges forward and the X button makes him swim a little bit faster, but only a little bit. Ow! No! Oh. No, I forgot my fingers. None of them were accurate, accurate ones, so now we die. To live is to die. I don't like... Why is there two? Oh, and now I... yeah. Can't get the range on that very well. See, it's just... He keeps going forward for a little while and spin stops. Just the frames, the frames on that spin. Active frames and vulnerability recovery frames. Just not great. Yay. It's not like I'm gonna, like, this... You notice how easy this game is in comparison to Crash uh, 1? Because you just have a surplus of lives, like an absurd... Yeah, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh... You just have so many lives that it's pretty inconsequential unless you're like dying 20 times per level. And even at this level, I am not going to be doing that. So. <laughs> okay, we've got to go up there, but like it's very clear that. Oh. Yeah, scoop. What the fuck? 
I don't remember this. I don't remember any of this. Did they remix the level? Oh. Please, puff of fish. I have a fear of deep ocean because of this game. And just because deep ocean is horrible. But they did some great stuff with Wrath of Cortex, I think. Then they made a load of like bad car races that were just not as good as team racing. And they, they tried to do a Mario Double Dash clone and it was just a bit like limited and horrible. Oh no 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 no! Oh well yeah, that was gonna fucking happen. <laughs> I'm like Nitro's Nitro Nitro. <laughs> Dead. Underwater levels. Doesn't matter if you have a breath in you, it's still not fun. Anyway, uh yeah. I played a lot of the crash games, but some of them were just like, why? Why is this game? And it was like, because you're trying to do something hipster and weird. Much like they were trying to do the Spyro reboot, where they were like, yeah, we're going to make it like edgy. And like they were trying all this shit with like, I think I mentioned it in the Crash Team Racing thing. They just started doing dumb shit that you were like, oh. Uh, yeah, that's good. I just don't like this bit. This bit's the worst. See? Uh, how the fuck am I supposed to deal with this? Badly, apparently. It ends there, and I can't get... Oh, I'm so bad at life. Just stop fucking losing your, sk your skidoo. Which is a pretty nice design, and it's a bit of like... Why is, why is this design so intricate for like... A Crash Bandicoot game. It looks like something out of Atlantis. That weird movie with uh, Michael J. Fox. Disney, Disney movie. Yes. No! <laughs> Like, look at this turn animation. No, you, you're always moving forward. That's why I'm doing this. Look, I'm not pressing anything. You're always moving forward with this thing. And it fucks you. It fucks you bad. See? And then it... N Stop going that way! Oh my god. And it stays on for... Oh, I hate this. I hate this level. It's not even that long now that I've played it, it's just... Stop, stop, please. I don't want to live anymore, I just want to get through the end of the level. <laughs> so we're just gonna do some bullshit to get to the end here. Oh, we we need to. <laughs> No, don't kill it. Okay. I'm just gonna do some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. No gem for me, and I don't care. Ugh. I don't like underwater levels. Does anyone? I'm not gonna make a comment this time. Who wants to do that? That's a bit. Uh, yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> I'll play as Coco for one level in a minute. Sir, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. Okay. Yeah, but, like, they're just pretending the PS2 and... Was there a PS3 era ready for Crash? The PS2 era and then you fucking killed the franchise. Then they had really bad Game Boy games. It's just like... Crash and Spyro suffered in that era. That generation was bad. <laughs> and like, 
Swing the Sanity was awful and made no sense. It was ridiculously short. Uh, like, there's a lot of games in that area where you're just like, why is this game? Just check you weren't trolling me. Sometimes they put, like, TNTs and Nitros onto there, so you break into a pile and you're like, oh, uh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, no. No, bad monkey. Bad monkey. Yeah. Just get really hard on the later levels. Oh, fuck you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> really pretty mean. No! He snipped me! Yeah, there's a lot of like. Yeah, so you're gonna like. I will play Crash Bandicoot 4 if it's good, and I will play it on this channel if it's good. But like, if it's bad, I'm just gonna be like, again. How can they not get it? And to be honest, the Activision remakes, they feel like they're almost trying too hard to be, like, serving the fans. Like, they, they're bringing in shit, like, <laughs> we know what Crash fans like. It's like, do you? Because you seem to think it was all about the Booga Grandma shit, which was just a cringy and 90s as fuck. The ad campaign where a guy in a crash suit went around being, like, yeah, in people's faces, like, around the era of Wazaf and all of that shit, so it's like, you know, it's like embarrassing, to be honest, that you guys are all like, yep, that's what people like about Crash, nothing else. I can do it, I can do it, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. There you go. I did it, everyone. I did it. <laughs> hey, I'm the meat master of this game. Bonus round. No, nobody's fine. Okay, fuck me then, I guess. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Oh no, I've done them all wrong. <laughs> oh. We did it, it's fine. I did it. Guys. I can do the game. Can I play? <laughs> yeah, so like, Crash Bandicoot 4. Pretending like a lot of things. A lot of franchises that certain parts of their franchise no longer count. I just love that shit because it's just like they're 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 not the only franchise to just go no that doesn't exist anymore. You can't prove it. Oh, if you don't die and get here, there's a death. Great. So I've obviously gotten murdered by the scorpion, and I'm not worthy. Oh, and I apparently can't jump. <laughs> there you go. Wait, there was a pinkish glow down. That's fine. Really. Okay, yeah, fuck me, I guess. There we go. <laughs> to be fair, they kept the timer the right time. They could have fucked with the entire fan base and got. <laughs> 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 
All you have to do, oh, by bone geek, all you have to do is hold one, one TNT, have a slightly faster fuse than every other TNT in the game. Just one. Like, it just goes, <laughs> like, you know, it's just like, oh, what the fuck? And it's a random TNT. And I can't jump on these because I'm, oh. Hello, monkey. Well, I got the hooded guard. What does he say? Is it words? The hooded guard. I just always thought it was just his noise. Trolly TNT. You stand on it and it just goes boom. <laughs> I mean, that's what nitros are, but it's not labeled. It's labeled as a TNT. And it's just like. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? Oh my god, can you imagine the madness? The anger. Oh, they used to set them off with that. Knock them down a bit. Press as if they collide with the wall. Now that's not depth perception. I can't, like, this is why Crash 1 was so hard. It was mostly forward into the screen, you know, not much side scrolling. Which actually fucks you up quite bad if it's like bad depth perception on your, your part or the TV. Ooh. It's gonna hit my pants. Weirdos in their pants. It probably is pants as well. The worst thing you could do for Crash, and this would end his life from embarrassment, go around you lose a life when your pants fall off. They hide scorpions behind boxes. Oh, okay. To be fair, that's a fucking horrible, huge scorpion. It's the size of Crash. Ow! <laughs> he thought I missed loads. Okay, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Feel alright. See, I'm better at the Arabic style of levels. Even though I died multiple times, I still got. Maybe it's just because it's not got hit boxes. Yeah. Oh yeah, grandma. So yeah, I feel like Crash 4 will be the ultimate level of fan service there's ever been, where they'll just be doing shit where they're like, we've won you over, right, by remaking all the ones. We're your friends. And like they're gonna make it and it's gonna be like the most cringe shit ever or something and you're gonna be like, oh, oh no, they misinterpreted Crash entirely and it's not just a simple walkthrough based adventure, it's like some weird shit and it's, it doesn't feel like it sits well along the canon or something and they're just like, but, but guys, guys, because that's what Wrath of Cortex is for. If you hit the alien sign, you can't move. We'll be done. Uh, that's what Wrath of Cortex did. It was like, more of the same it is. You guys love this shit, right? And it sold pretty poorly. And I think that's why they stopped making it like that. Because it must have been something that prompted them. If more of the same works, they wouldn't change the formula. So I get the feeling that like, I played Wrath of Cortex, my friend. A couple of my friends played Wrath of Cortex that were into Crash back in the day. But, like, <clears throat> I feel like, you know, something went, like, they must not have sold well down the road. I'm fifth. Yay! Yeah, I feel like we must not so oh yeah, let's just go in the good. It's fine. Oh, it actually hard locks you onto that now. I used to use that to cheese around the cop cars, you know? And you actually get more speed that way. To 
knocks your boost on impact with the ground. I know too much about this. There's a hole. Eh, eh. This guy, man. This guy. Ooh, he's pissed me off. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah, so I feel like Wrath of Cortex must have sold badly. You know, like, kind of like Enter the Dragonfly sold really badly, and everyone was like, the creator or the head of Insomniac during the Spyro period said the biggest embarrassment is that people think I made Enter the Dragonfly because it's a similar formula, but we lost the rights to Spyro. That was an abomination. And it's like, I feel like it was the same for Wrath of Cortex. Someone... Someone acquired the IP and went, oh, I know, we'll just fart out another couple of these. Kids won't know the difference. And they made the lowest effort attempt because the crash graph of course, the graphics kind of look shit. Some of them were kind of like, really? One of these ones where you're trapped in a ball and you're running around? Some really interesting stuff, though. Like, you're, you're a Coco and you're running away from a tsunami. That was pretty cool. Um, bit of a fever dream, if I'm honest. I only remember little bits of it. It was a bit like, oh, they're really just harping on that theme again, yeah? But, I mean, like, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. It was fine. I didn't mind it. It wasn't the best. Best uh, entry, but it was like... It wasn't the worst thing that happened because it was the first thing that happened and it wasn't as bad as what was to come. Oh, crap. Right on the top. I need to fight like crashes. Blatant. <laughs> Unsubtle, oh, in a hole. This isn't happening. <laughs> like, <laughs> but like I pulled the guy in there as well. They're just hitting my car, my bike. I'll try one more time and I'm wrong. Yeah, you know, it's like, I didn't mind Enter the Dragonfly either, but you got to remember, like I said, I would have been quite young when it came out, and just go, it's okay, I don't like it as much as the other ones, but, like, I guess this is what this generation has in store. Everything's better graphics, kind of, but it's all kind of shittier. And then, like, better stuff came out in the PS2, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just play these more adult games with violence in Oh, let's just hit this just to see what Yeah, you're a third crossing. And it takes you to a really hard level. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, no. Oh, no, what have I brought upon us? So you really got to get all the boxes to make this work far because this all the boxes or like the time trial. Is it weird that this level's called Hot Coco? Say in the comments below. Oh, shark. I don't want to play this level, it's hard. <laughs> oh, it's a checkpoint. We haven't done enough to get checkpoints yet. It's just basically, it's not even hard, it's just kind of boring. I thought it was, uh, because, it's a, because it's a UFO crossing, I thought it was where Crash drives the motorbike spoilers with, uh, against uh, some UFOs. It is not. Oh, look at this shit. And it's just a big, this is just a big open waterway course with an island in the middle where you just do stunts to get all of the boxes. 
it's not really that exciting. You can see, like, here, you've got to, like, jump over or just get, like, the... Find the exclamation mark and blow the night goes. I can literally just find the exclamation mark and blow the night goes and quit the level. But, uh, I wouldn't know where that is anyway. So, you can see there's some underwater boxes too. See, it's just all the way around the island here. Ah! Fuck, there was a shark there. I didn't even see him. That really made me really jump. Oh, I really don't want to play this level. I'm just going to complain about it for like an hour now. Oh, I need to get fucking murdered again. Uh. Uh. Ah! Sorry, Matt, fam. Too late, though. They hide, man. They hide. Stealth jar. I just quit this. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll do that later when I'm in the mood. It's just a very big, very big level that's just not very great. It, it is great, but it's like you got to have a lot of time and a lot of interest in wanting to do that. It's something that you, it's an undertaking. Because it's basically you have to go around breaking all the boxes and it's just a big. This is, this is the one. These guys fucking scare the shit out of me. Look at that shit. I'm dealing with that shit if I can avoid it. You used to be able to go do, 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 when they were that close to each other, but they're obviously cowards. Ah! That frog didn't murder me. We'll try and handle one. And he can bounce on their tummies. Oh, they don't jump on the micros. Oh <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Motherfucker! <laughs> Trying to get me with his like jump scare kill. As we proved before, I can't hit a second box. Second level box, so we're just gonna let that blow up. Motherfuckers are everywhere. I guess it is called double header. Or not. <laughs> See, sometimes when they fall down, they detonate, they trigger. Sometimes they do not. Bye bye, goat. Yeah, so I'm actually very interested to see. Oh, that's going to go off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he used to show his eyes fall down. I panic. <laughs> Go screaming too far, they just get me and quit the timer. Hey, I'm a Crash Bandicoot character. I'm going to stand stationary and just swing at the air until he comes towards me. And then if he gets hit, that's his fault. Oh my god, there we go. Go, 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 <laughs> Good. The faster it goes, the more light it's going to turn solo. No! Don't turn me into a chicken! <laughs> Sorry. That was really intense. 
Yeah, I will purchase the shit out of Crash 4. Oh. Oh, I, I'm like driving, it's like driving drunk. Oh yeah, just knock two of them out. Ugh. Ugh. I'll save you for later, boy. 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 Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I will play the shit out of Crush Bandicoot 4 when it comes out. And we will say together, yay or nay. No! <laughs> Just kill myself. Out of shame. Do that again and not be a spaz. Don't be a dick, man. You do. Oh, he's cold. Oh. Oh. Can we just just jump like a normal bandicoot? There we go. Yeah, now we can. See, this is the bonus levels gimmick here. Oh no! Blow up my box! Dead. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, yeah, attempt number three, <laughs> watch me over here. Mm. Come back to you, I'll be back. The careful jump on everything slowly because <laughs> you're terrified you're going to fuck something up by jumping on the wrong box. There you go. It's sensitive to jumping this time. I just can't get that. I used to be really good at the jumping and hold and not. Feels different. Don't like it. I don't like change. Yes. There you go. Now don't belly flop. <laughs> This is a nice castle. This originally came out in 1998, which would have made me... Born in 92. Someone do maths. Five? Six? Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this knobber. Doesn't it really... I don't, I don't know what he was doing to... Uh, ooh, quick shot. I, thought, I had a feeling he was going to jump back at me. No! 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 How I didn't get zapped there. Oh no. They, they put them at weird angles. What was Cortex doing to his lab assistant exactly? <laughs> I knew it. <clears throat> yes. I can do the traditional level, apparently. Uh, any level where it's like, hey man, you gotta do the thing, I'm like, no. <laughs> like, straight up. Do you wanna see the dance? Oh. 
You have to. It's it's locked in. Oh no! I'm gonna kill myself if I have to see that every time. <laughs> so we have to now. What a horror! We have to do the bike level. Well, you crashed a few parties before. <laughs> I never expected you to make it this. If you don't turn back, I will put the thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. Okay. Cool story, bro. Do you think Cortex looks more tired now he's been updated? Like he's got red rings around his eyes? I feel sorry for him almost. Imagine creating a uh, like bandicoot who's a bit stupid and wears jeans and can barely like coordinate and then getting your ship wrecked by said marsupial. I know that's pretty much the plot to everything from like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to like street sharks. Haha, <laughs> evil villain made me and then I rebelled and I just did sick bike drifts. You think if Cortex saw his creation that I can barely articulate words doing sick drifts on a bike like this, he would be a bit like, what have I done? <laughs> also, yeah, like, I'm not being funny. I'm being funny. Ah. Explain explain this situation to me. So we're racing... Okay, okay, I'm assuming first prize is the crystal. That makes sense. Why are all the other competitors lab assistants? So Cortex just made it so that, like, the race... Like, this could be a race anywhere, then. We could just be fighting Cortex for this. Ah, oh, can't cut that corner. Can't go that way, gotta go this way. I knew he did that. Oh, we got one more! Oh! Oh! Wow. LP over, guys. I can't even pass level 14. Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that's how I feel, buddy. <laughs> Try again. We have to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's look at the list of LPs we have running on the channel right now. I still haven't been looking in game. I started Doom 2016 and just played it off screen. <laughs> So I was like, ah, oh, I'll just play this off screen. Then, you know, like, if I die, it won't be too embarrassing. And then I went through the game and no word of a lie, barely died at all on Ultra Violence. Like, there was, like, two later hell levels where I was just getting my shit handed to me. Though. And I just couldn't work out what I was doing wrong for a while. Every other level, though, I was just like, yeah, well, this is fine. And I didn't record any of that. Because whenever you don't record, you do fine, because you're just focusing on gaming. The moment it's like this stuff, you get under pressure and everything goes wrong. And excuses. The third. Don't tell my failure of a brain that. Oh my god. This guy. Drives like an ass. Uh, you should have cut me up. Yeah. 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 I still got a little while yet. It's got that whirly dirty of like hole, hole, hole. Where it's like right, left, right of holes around this corner. Just do it. Oh, I need <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck. There's more holes than I remember. <laughs> I win! I hit my, I hit my bike up. 
<sighs> yeah, and I want to start RE3 as an LP soon. Because I bought that. I haven't turned it on yet. We got that one. Uh, we got Okami to finish. Okami. So we gotta beat Dr. Matropi. Because, you know, kids understand that pun. Little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourself into. This time, you've done it! <laughs> this is where you find out the villains were collecting them to hold back a primordial beast like Cthulhu. Now you're on my time, you little skunk! Give me the crystal! Ugh! Ow. Ooh. Ooh. I forgot he had all this shit. Oh! I was evaporated. I remember this actually being a surprisingly difficult boss. For a mid boss. But honestly, the boss is in crash. I'll make it so that you like straight up have an ability to hit me when I use it before. Whoa. Those are faster than I remember. They only get three bars of health before, I'm pretty sure he had like five or something. The Cortex fight in this was actually one of the harder Cortex fights. Cortex's fights that were actually fights were hard. And then the race in Crash 2, where you're chasing him, was a like... Uh, we're, we're chasing him with a jetpack and shit. It's just horrible. Okay. We done? Oh. Good work, am I right? Glad I have 40 more lives. <laughs> Ooh. Jump early. And remember you have a double jump. Although it's actually much harder to use now. It used to be so easy to come out of a double jump. Oh, and they changed the setting look. That's nice. I just noticed they changed the environment. <laughs> We done? Ooh. Ah, it's pressing X. I'm so frustrated. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? I oh, I must have just chipped that. That's bullshit. want to run through this. I'm trying to speed run it and it's like I clearly don't have skills to pace and build. Stop drawing dicks with the platforms <laughs> and then maybe I won't be able to get on here. Ow. Ow. Ugh. Oh, they gave me a mask because they feel so sympathetic towards my easy mode available. <laughs> I did it! Basic platforming achieved. Look, it's Arabic now. How nice. He's changing the time. Surely if you kill him though, it would destroy the warp room. Or would it? He's a master cup. He could just turn it off. Surely. Like if we were that much of a problem. Oh my god. Am I, like, am I dying? I'm dying. 
Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing, I'm just stupid. This is a formality and you know it. Replay the last hit. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh, I tried to style and it ruined me. I'm ruined. He got tired from waving his stick around a little bit, you know? Oh! <laughs> Should have jumped. This is the worst. Oh, I'm hurting my throat from screaming about how bad I am. Mm. Oh. I don't like these ones. <laughs> Down top of them. Okay. Done. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was doing good then. Oh, he's just straight up dead. He's dead. He's dead. That never happened before. Oh my god. Oh no. We just killed him. Oh, great. So, yeah, like I said. Good to know. Thanks, this engine. <laughs> <laughs> 